Hi, it's Craig, WJ6F. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the Baofeng UVS 9 Plus, and we'll get to it right after this. Okay, the items that come in the box, you get a desk charger with the plug, you get the earpiece with mic, standard duck antenna, you get the Abri version of the 771 antenna, owner's manual. You also get a USB charger, the wrist strap, belt clip, 2200 milliamp hour battery, and the radio. At the time of filming this video, depending on which color you get will dictate the price. Right now, the black ones are going for $32.99, orange is $33.99, red is also $33.99. All three of them do come with the Abri 771 antenna and the Abri USB charger. This radio claims to be 8 watts, triple power. The Abri antennas are 15.1 inches long and they all come with a 2200 milliamp hour battery. The user manual, actually not too bad, considering what they used to be. However, there are a few errors, mostly grammatical, like they pluralized equipment. There's no space between the comma and the word holding. Other than that, not too bad. They did include a table for CTCSS as well as DCS and give you all the specifications for the radio. Okay, let's take a look at this radio. On the top you have the power knob slash volume control. The bottom button here, this controls the flashlight. One click you get the flashlight, twice you get strobe, third for off. To open up the squelch, just push and hold the bottom button. Center button, push to talk. Top button gives you the radio station. If you press and hold, you get the alarm, which sends the flashlight into action. Press it again to turn it off. This is your VFO memory button. This chooses your channels, A and B. You have a menu button. And to exit the menu, over here on the bottom right, you have the band select. On the right side behind this is where you plug in microphone and programming cable. And it has the two prong style. This port right here is for using the USB charging cable. To take the battery off, just use the bottom lever here. The menu has 41 selections, 0 through 40. Now, if you've ever used any kind of UV5R, any pretty much any of the other Baofangs, you're familiar with this menu. Menu 0 is your squelch. Menu 1 is your step. And you can change these as fit your needs. Power, it has three power levels, high, medium, and low. And we'll be testing that out here in a few. And you just go up through there and change all the things you want. Your timeout timer. Set mine for 120. Menu item 40, if you decide you don't like how you set everything up, is a reset. And you can either reset all or the VFO. And that really is pretty much all there is to the menu. Like I said, if you've ever messed around with any of the UV5Rs, it's all the same. Programming this radio is like the other Baofangs. You can use Chirp or you can program it from the front end. As like the other radios, if you program it from the front, you cannot enter a channel name. You can only do that through Chirp. And I'm gonna show you how to, from the front panel, program a repeater channel as well as a simplex channel. First thing you wanna do, turn the power on. Then you're gonna to go to VFO. Enter the frequency you want, which is national calling, which is 146520. We already have it in there. Go into menu. 
There's a few things you want to make sure that are turned off. One, menu item 13, which is transmit CTCSS, that's already off. Then we want to go to menu 25, which is your shift, that's already off as well. And then you want to program it into a memory channel, which is menu 27. Hit menu, pick the channel you want all the way up to 127. We're going to use channel 2. Press menu again. You should be locked in. Exit out. Switch back over to memory. And you can see the number two up here in the corner shows which memory slot you're in. Now again, you cannot put a tag in here unless you use chirp. Now to do a repeater, again, go to VFO. Enter the frequency you want. In this case, it's 145160. Then go into the menu. You're going to go to menu option 13. Hit menu again. Select which one you want. In this case, we want 156.7. If you hold it, it'll zip through them pretty quick. And there we have 156.7. Hit menu again to lock it in. Then we're gonna to go to menu item 25. This is your shift. And you can do positive, negative, or off. In this case, we want negative. Hit menu again, then go to menu option 27, or correction, 26. And this is where we're gonna hit the offset. Since this is two meters, we're gonna use, hit menu, Oop, one too many zeros. Now once you have it put in, hit memory again. That locks it in. And then you're gonna to go to memory item number 27, which is your memory channel again. And for this one, we'll use memory channel three. Hit memory again to lock it in. Exit out. Go back to memory. And there you have it in memory item number three, one, four, five, one, six, zero. Let's give this a try and see if we can get the repeater to respond. And there you have it. That's all there is for programming. The Okay, let's hook this up to a meter and see how much power this radio puts out. It's supposed to put out up to 8 watts. I did pick up two of these radios to see how much difference there is between the two, if any. Now let's test the power on these two radios. See if they're the same or vastly different. I'm going to be using an MFJ849 digital watt meter, as well as an MFJ300 watt dummy load. Okay, now we're going to start on low on the national calling frequency, 146.520. And we get 1.4, and it's climbing about 1.4 watts. Let's switch over to medium. And we get about 3.8 watts. And now let's go to high. And we get 5.3 watts. Not the 8 watts as promised in the ad. Okay, now let's try 440. Okay, now for 440, we're going to use 446.000. And we're on low power. And we get about one watt. 
Let's go to medium. A medium we get 3.4, almost three and a half watts. Now let's try high. And we're only at four watts, half of the power that was advertised. Okay, let's try the other radio right quick. Okay, we'll be using 146520 on low power. And we get about three quarters of a watt. Let's switch to medium power. And we're at three and three quarters of a three and three quarter watts. Switch to high. This one we get a little more power. We get about six watts. Okay, now switch to 440. And for some reason, when you first go into it, it gives you wide. I don't know why. It's some programming issue, I guess. Okay, we're in low. And we're using 446-000. And we get about 1.2 watts. Switch to medium. We're at 3.6 watts, and go to high. And we're at uh, about five, uh, four and a half watts, actually less than that. Try it again. Starts out at five watts, but it quickly diminishes. Well, neither one of these radios delivered the 8 watts as shown in the advertisement on Amazon. Seems to be a running trend with some of these Baofangs. After seeing that display, will I keep them or will I return them? Well, I'll probably keep one of them because one of them got to 6 watts. And in the grand scheme of things, the difference between 6 and 8 watts is not a whole hell of a lot. I do think they're a great radio to keep in the glove box. I also think they're great if you have a youngster that's just starting out or if you want to gift it to a new ham. I really appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, please leave them in the comments section below. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe and don't forget to click on the bell so you'll be notified each time I upload a video. If you'd like to help support the channel, there is a Patreon link in the description area. And while you're here, check out one of these other videos. And again, thanks for watching.